Hello everyone. Welcome to breakfast. My name is Cynthia. And my name is Daniel. And today we have big news. Approximately at 6.30 last week. We have reached big news. Hint. It's about space. Last week. Cody Churchwood. Spencer Austin. Fabian Mendy and Adam Mendy. Went to space to help the aliens. I know some of you might be saying. Aliens that is silly. But it's not. They all gave aliens lifetime supply of food from the meteors. Which by the way was tough. But they managed to do it. And we have satellite proof if you don't believe me. But we don't have enough screen time to show it. So we're showing it at 8 o'clock. Now Cody and Spencer are famous. And Adam and Fabian are mega famous. Anyway that's all for now. We'll be back after the break. Bye everyone. Don't forget to go to all their houses. Bye. <gasps> what the what? Who oh, no. When you wake up in the morning as a parent, you'd rather be each day is great for you and me. The problems we have to face, we do it together. And that's how we enjoy our life. Go together. We work together, we do it for where well. nothing can bring us down because we are all together. We work together, we do a full where nothing can bring us down because we are. I can't believe I'm mega famous for feeding the aliens and saving them. I know, right? Our lives might change forever. And now I'm mega famous. Because I kind of was famous before this kind of happened. Yeah, you were. But now I get to put the famous vibe you're feeling now. I still yeah. feel bad for Jamie. I feel bad for Jamie too. But he didn't really do anything except saying, where's Marley, Marley, Marley? But isn't that strange? Yeah, it is. But it doesn't matter because we're famous. Hi Arnold, why are you here? My name is not, you know, never mind, it's all special today. Because you're mega famous, hurry up, let's get in the limo. Did mum set you this, Arnold? No, I decided that I was actually gonna be nice to you since you're mega famous. Now hurry up, get in the limo, now! Limo, we're taking the limo, we are really mega famous. This is the best day ever. Who knew them could be famous for helping the aliens, give them resources to help them live up? This is literally the best day ever. Maybe we should start being superhero action packed, but it doesn't matter because we are so famous, the famous, the famous, the famous then. Um, Adam, what about the taxi? Isn't it going to be waiting for you? Oh, well, he should have really seen the news if we were famous, then he wouldn't know not to get us. Oh, well, that's his problem anyway. So what I'm hearing is that me and Adam are mega famous and Spencer and Cody are famous because we save space and feeding the aliens? Yes, they are. You should really be proud of yourself. Thanks, so you're not mad that we almost died? No, I'm not mad. I'm actually quite happy that you saved someone's life. Aliens, I just want to come back. <laughs> well, I'm going to go take the taxi. No, it's fine. I'll take you to school. Um, are you sure the taxi won't be waiting? Thanks, Mum, for taking me to school. This day is going to be the best day ever. By the way, there might be paparazzi and these agents at your school just checking you out, asking you questions, and you might miss some of your classes. Friends, have you seen what's on the news? Yeah, we're famous for saving space. This is like a dream come true. I knew we could always make it big, but never this big. So what? You save space. No big deal. 
Actually, it is a big deal. See, since we say space, the solar system can control the right way, and now the asteroids are now eat with the aliens, and they can eat as much food as they like. I do not need an explanation, especially from a nerd. There's no big deal you say space. It's like when we say the train station or something like that. Jamie, it is a big deal. You're just jealous that you're not getting rewarded because you're too busy hanging out with Miley and Spreads as if they're actually helping the aliens. That's all on you. Shut up, Cody. It's not like that. Jamie, it is like that. Just because we got rewarded, it doesn't mean that you have to let your anger out on us. It's your fault for not helping us. We tried to look for you. We called you, but you didn't answer. It's all your fault, and I don't care anymore. You guys are the worst friends ever. How? Ow, that really hurt. What is up with Jamie lately? It's all started ever since we came back from space. He's been so jealous. Jamie will get over it. He always does. Hopefully. Let's just hope he gets over it quickly. I don't want to get slapped another minute. <laughs> Quiet. No booing for Jamie. You can clap for Adam and Fabian and Cody Spencer, and you can't clap for Jamie. And we'll clap for Jamie. And I don't care if he doesn't do anything space. Okay, class, you've got two new things to say. Welcome to the four of you who went to space and fed the aliens. You really changed the world a lot, and you're gonna come down in history. History, remember me. And we've got a student teacher. Come in, Miss Boyd Leslie. Everyone, Miss Miss Boyd Leslie, or Miss Boyd. Um, she can sit next to Grace. I don't want you to be extremely nice to her, everyone. So, you must be Grace. I'm Miss Boyd Leslie. Hi! You're gonna love our class. You're gonna love our teachers. It's the best bunch of the all schools. You can come in! My name is Johnson, and I work for the news team. Hello, Johnson. Who do you need? I think Johnson will be calling me, Fabian, Cody, Spencer, and not you, because you didn't say the spares. You didn't say... I would like... Adam, Fabian, Cody, Spencer. Okay, you space warriors. You guys can go. Who thinks that that's unfair that they went to space and actually helped the aliens? Um, to be fair, I was gonna go to space too if I was hanging out with you guys that night. Okay, guys. So the reason you're here is. We saved the aliens before they destroyed Earth and kidnapped us forever. Yes, yada yada yada, continue. Anyway, you're going to be interviewed at the breakfast studio. It's going to be live V. So please don't struggle. You will have five minutes to think about your saying. Everyone at the breakfast studio. Now. Um, so Jamie, why do we have to sneak in here? We need to make sure they don't get all the credit. I'm still pretty mad that they didn't invite me. Well, apparently you went to space and all two was looking for Marley. This is technically all on you, Jamie. Archie, I invited you to help me, not to let me that it was all my fault. Now, shut up and let's do this. So, they're coming to the breakfast studio. We can't go there straight away because Spencer's there and Spencer's the smart one and he's gonna know that we'll be following him just to make sure they didn't get praised. Um, Jamie, are you sure you're not gonna feel bad? This is your friend's moment time to shine and you're just gonna ruin it because of your jealousy. Archie, you're not here to lecture me. We're here to ruin my moments of my friends. I'm never gonna forgive them for this. Um, they're my friends too. I am still part of the school friends. But you haven't been every single episode of this TV show, especially this season. So actually, be quiet and do what I say. We are ruining my friends' lifetime opportunity. Stop living rude. You know, I'm gonna go home. I did not come here to sabotage my friends' lifetime opportunity that they can be part of history for. You know what, you can be the jerk if you want. I'm going. Archie, no, please. I'll stop being rude, okay? But we still have to ruin my friend's opportunity. Please. 
Fine, I'll do it. But if we get caught, you're gonna have to take the blame for it. I will, but we won't get caught, don't worry. Sensor, is this really happening? Yes, Adam, this might be unbelievable, but this is really happening. I just don't hope we struggle. That would be really embarrassing in front of everyone watching, especially people at school. We won't, trust me, we'll get through this together. Okay, everyone, soon breakfast will be on, and we are going to watch Adam Faber and Cody Spencer on the air from the TV celebrating the big news. But first, let's get to know Miss Boyd Leslie better. Hello, my name is Miss Boyd Leslie, but you can call me Miss Boyd, I don't really mind. So, I am training to be a teacher, and I'm going to train here. Yeah. Thank you, Miss Boyd Leslie. She's going to be staying with us for a long time, so just get okay, to know her. Okay, everyone settle down. Please. Everyone be quiet. Now we have bad news. What is it, Johnson? Is everything okay? No. Everything is not okay. I just got a call from the executive producer. And he said, We are delayed. What? Why? Is everything going to be okay? Are we still going to say our interviews? He said that the connection to make us be on air is on slow budget. So when is it going to be fixed? The rate it's going, it could be fixed. Tomorrow. Sorry for wasting your time. I'm just going to go to the office. Guys, do you think that's a little bit suspicious? As soon as the moment we're going to go in there, uh, something bad happened? Your wife friends said that is a little strange. That the I'm going to check it out. You're not going alone because I'm going to help you. We'll stay here, but make sure we'll be guarding. Good luck. Make sure you find out what's going on. Jamie, why are we exactly in here? You see, Archie, I actually know what I'm doing here. And trust me, they will come here eventually. Just because one studio's gone and there might not be in there, there's always different plenty of cameras in here. And why was that really appropriate? Archie, will you? <gasps> oh, dear. Someone's coming! Hurry! Was it me? I felt like someone was in here, talking, and they shout a lot. Yeah, they do. But why would they want to be here in out of all the places? Maybe because they think that we're just because one seed is ruined, it doesn't mean the other one is ruined as well. They kind of just try to destroy the connection for every seed you're in here. You're right. And look, that's cameras. I'm going to check it out. They're checking the cameras. They're checking the cameras. They won't. I'm all over it. And destroy the camera. Oh, we got a race of from today. There's no need to be too drastic. Ooh, I'm going quickly. I gotta set the cameras quick before someone sees me. Hmm, okay. That is strange. There's no footage from today. Surely there has to be footage. <gasps> OMG. All the messages have been erased. That's strange. It was just erased 10 seconds ago. Someone's definitely in here. Hmm, the person who left had brown hair. Adam doesn't cut his nails. I use this for the DNA that Caden gave me at Granite. Time to find out the mystery eraser. <laughs> Jamie, you almost got yourself caught. That was so risky. Well, it doesn't matter because I deleted the evidence. Evidence all been erased. I think the plan might work. Now we need to get out of here. I'm right behind ya. Fabian, what are you doing here? Did you catch the person? Well, no, I didn't see who the person was, but someone deleted all the footage and left some DNA samples. So, you know, this Caden gave me a DNA, and now we are going to check who that person is. That's great, Fabian. Now, could we hurry up? We are kind of running out of time. Hang on, it's still processing. So, is it fixed? Hang on. It takes a while. Don't worry about it, because I fixed it. Is that me more on air again? Yes. 
Adam, Fabian, where are you? Have you done it yet? Yes, I have, and it's... Jamie! Hello everyone, welcome to This Afternoon in Oxford. I'm your host Jennifer Menti and here's the latest talk today. Why Adam Faber and Cody Spencer did not show up at breakfast today? What's the latest fashion trend in downtown city? Teachers being too strict? And why was breakfast delayed? Before we get on all that, let's hear why Adam Faber and Spencer Cody wasn't on breakfast today. We have my son Faber Menti speaking about the evidence on the crime scene. Hang on for Fabian. Hi, Mum. Yes, we're at the crime scene and I used the DNA test to find out Jamie was the whole reason we went on breakfast. As you can see here, Jamie erased all the footage from the Today CCTV to make himself look innocent, which means he didn't want anyone suspecting him. So, Fabian, can you explain why Jamie did this in the first place? Well, Mum, it all looks back when we went to space. Jamie came along and she didn't even help. And now he's said it's because he's not being praised and now he wants to ruin our time to shine so he can feel say the same thing we're feeling right now. And Fabian, do you know where Jamie is? No, Jennifer Mendy. I mean, Mama. Thank you, Fabian. I'll take it from here. We now need to take drastic action in our hands and look for Jamie. The, there's a hunt going around and the police are getting involved just to get Jamie. Anyway, we'll be right back after the break. And that's why we need to get out of the studio. Quick, before I see us. Ugh, all I really wanted was just to my friend's special day and now the police are involved. What am I going to do? We can start by getting out of here. Officer Nathan. Calling Officer Nathan. Yes, Officer Brandy. What is it? How comes I'm the only police officer going to stop Jamie? Because you know him better than any police officer. Plus, if we need to take drastic action, you can call us, and we'll be on there. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Bye. Bye. Did I just see Jamie? Time to go in reverse. Thanks for coming to ruin the school friends moment with Archie H. If that'd be anyone, I'm glad it's you. You're welcome, but are you gonna feel bad you ruined your friends only moment to be famous to do something they're proud of? And plus the place is still going after you. We cannot hide here forever. You're right, but what am I gonna do? I'm not sure, Jamie. That's why you still wear gloves so the DNA doesn't track you. But maybe if we went, maybe if you went home, maybe no one would go there since so Officer Brandy went straight to the studio. I don't think he went to the studio. I think he went with us. I think he saw us. Uh oh, let's make a run for it. Quickly! Jamie, get down from there. If you're not coming down, I have no hope to go up. And all the school friends member is coming after you. Oh no, they saw us! They're onto us! We're cornered! I have no hope but to jump down! Jimmy, are you crazy? You can really hurt yourself jumping off from here! I have no hope! Jimmy, you could just go down there and tell them the truth instead of risking your life just to get away from the police! No, Archie, I'm the only one getting caught, and you're not, so I'm gonna jump! Ha! Ah! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Why am I in jail? Adam, are you responsible? Did you put me in here? Yes, and don't even lie to me. Archie H turns you in. Jamie, what you did was very selfish and rude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just really jealous that you guys were getting all the praise and glory because you did something useful and I didn't do anything. That's okay, Jamie. We all pulled jealousy at some point. But still, you don't have to ruin our opportunity just to make yourself look happy. I'm so sorry. I didn't think about anything. I wanted to get so much revenge at you. That's my fault. 
Mm. And now I should learn the consequences. I'll do anything. Let's make myself look better. Jamie, you don't need to do anything stupid. Just to make us look happy. We're not going to do that. We're going to forgive you. And you're going to get out of prison. Just promise me you won't do anything stupid like that again. I promise. But what are you going to do about your interview? Don't worry. We'll schedule it to another day. Now, come on, Jamie. Let's get out of here. Lovely weather that we are having in Granite today. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. So, Adam, how was it like going to get the meteors? Well, for starters, it wasn't easy, and I couldn't have done it without my friends. Adam, one more question. Yes? What gave you the confidence to get all the meteors by yourself? It wasn't easy convincing, but as again, my friends was the whole reason I actually did that and get the meteors. Jamie, you must be really happy with your friends. So you're not jealous anymore? No, I'm not jealous anymore. I should realize that I should be happy for my friends. They did something amazing, and I don't care if I was there. As long as they're living their dream, then I'm happy. That's the spirit! Uh, I'm really proud of my friends.